windy out here. Hopefully this comes out okay. Today on Handy Dad TV, it is time to treat my lawn for grubs, and I'm gonna tell you my preferred brand of grub control coming up. If you need shade on your deck or patio this summer, check out Toya Grid Pergola Kits. You source the lumber locally and can assemble this modular system in as little as 30 minutes. Check the video description for links to videos and more information about Toya Grid. Looking good. Welcome to Handy Dad TV. I'm Chris Heider, your virtual dad in the cloud. And today I'm talking about grub control. It is cycle three of my 2019 lawn care plan. It is mid-June and it is time to put down grub control. Now grub control is meant to break the cycle of grub worms. They're not really worms, they're larvae. I call them grub worms, it doesn't matter. They kill your grass, they eat the roots when they're growing as baby grubs until they hatch in June as Japanese beetles. It is time for me to put down a preventative that will actually kill them and prevent them from eating my grass. Now in 2016, I had an awful lawn. It was practically dead in the fall, and I never really figured out why that was, but I suspect that it had something to do with insects. I'm not sure if it was grubs, or if it was chinch bugs, or something like that. Oh man, I hope that wind's not giving you a problem. Well, listen to that thing. Purdy, right? Not sure if it was grubs, chinch bugs, what? I'm not really sure. But the product I'm gonna use today works for all of them. And it also works for fleas and ticks, which is important for me because I've got dogs. And so if you treat the lawn for fleas and ticks, they don't have to wear those collars around the house. Look at this clematis. I'm gonna need to build a new trellis, a bigger one. My goodness, it's only mid-June and it's already at the top. Now a lot of YouTubers out there use Scott's Grubex for grubs, which is not a bad product, but it's very expensive. The Grubex bags are not that big. They only treat 5,000 square feet, and I have 14,000 square feet here. I would need three bags. Each bag is about $20 at my local Home Depot. That would be $60 for a treatment. That's a lot of money, especially when you see what I got. Now this is what I use. This is Bear Advanced Complete Insect Killer. This says it's a two-way formula that protects your lawn from top to bottom, kills surface insects as well as soil insects for up to three months. Ants, mosquitoes, chinch bugs, ticks, fleas, mole crickets, I don't even know what that is, European crane fly larva. I'm sure somebody out there must hate those, but I don't have that. And grubs, that's what I'm really trying to treat, but the rest of it is a benefit. The active ingredients on this is imacloprid and cyfluthrin. Now this works differently than Grubex. Grubex is a product that gets absorbed into the grass. When the grubs eat your, your roots of your grass, it makes them no longer hungry, so they stop eating and they die. This works differently. This is a traditional insecticide. I use uh, cyfluthrin for uh, any household pests. I also use it when I spray for mosquitoes, things like that. So this is fine to put out in the grass. It'll kill any surface insects and it'll also penetrate down in. It says it keeps killing for up to three months. All I know is I used it last year and I had no problem with grubs. So I'm just gonna keep on doing it. This bag treats up to 20,000 square feet and it's only 20 bucks. Now it does give spreader settings here, but of course it doesn't give a setting for my Earthway spreader. I don't know why, but Earthway is discriminated against. This is a 20 pound bag, and I'm gonna put that on 14,000 square feet. I can use the little chart that came with my spreader. And if you're doing one pound per squ thousand square feet, it says to put it at 11. Two pounds is 13. I need it to be for a little bit more than 11, so I'm gonna put it about 12. Throw her down! And uh, hope for the best. Let's hope for the best. Right about there. No, that's too much, too much. There we go, right there. Not very open. Now, because I'm insane, I actually weighed it out so that I have 10 pounds for the front, and then I'll put the other 10 pounds in the back. But that's just me. <laughs> All right, 10 pounds did the whole front. So 
I'm just gonna do the same thing on the back. So what do you do for grub control? Do you use this product? Do you use GrubX? Do you use something else? Let me know. Leave a comment below and hit that like button. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one.